That's our spot. About 65 tonight. Say hi, Pop. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so here we are. Alabama. Alabama. Took it over five. We're backed up to the woods with a little service road runs down there. Like all new construction, they get there. away. We have transformers so far, we haven't had any noise or anything from it. Beautiful view. Uh, in a few days, we may move to another site just to experience something else because as I said nobody's monitoring they don't really care where you're at as long as you don't bother anybody they don't bother you this is the new area that we're in and the gravel's a bit loose but you really don't sink much not enough to actually get your rig stuck um, if you have a very very heavy rig it's probably gonna make it difficult to level but um, you can see our Class C over there in the distance, and it's perfectly level. And I didn't have to use the jacks at all. So right now, February 2020, if you want privacy and to be left alone, this is the place to come. Um, everybody's been real courteous, parking far away because we can from each other. And... Um, you want to bring a group now would be the time to do it if you need to have your hand held you don't need to come here the uh, I've made several phone calls I haven't got a call back yet about some questions I had you need to be able to figure things out yourself and take care of yourself here um, if your site something isn't working right you need to move to another site because um, they're not gonna come and take care of you so some of the sites have cable, um, and some don't. This newer area has really nice setup. It has 30 amp, 50 amp, and your 120. And this is just for one side. Um, of course, you got your sewer line hookup. Um, so far, the internet, the wireless internet, the free one, has been unusable um, at our site. And we've got a pole right next to us. There are two others showing up on the broadband that are paid. I think they were 7 or $8 a day. We decided not to pay for it because we have our hotspot from our phone, which works well enough. For what we need. The ones down by the lake in the old area weren't as nice, but they had more shade trees and um, of course your lake view. That's our rig and as you can see even with the picnic table and the grill all set up we still have room for another rig in a car. I'm in site 37. They have one box per site, so you don't have to share back and front like you do in most of the RV parks you go to. There's Connie. Here's the swimming pool. Of course, it's not open here in February. 
and uh, looks like they're gonna have the old man winter did some damage you're gonna have to do some work on that This is the swimming pool that's in our area. It's going to be real pretty come summer. There's a basketball goal way off over there. It's about 30 degrees today, so I'm not going to make that walk. And there's the bathrooms that go with the pool. They're working on it constantly. Um, right now, there's no dumpster in this area, so you have about a five minute walk down to the dumpster. If you can catch a crew member, they'll take your trash for you just to be sweet. And uh, that was really nice. I don't know if you can see it well because of the sun. Down in this section by the lake, it looks like there's a lot of permanents. Um, I noticed online you could rent spaces for a year at a time. If you notice, they're not quite as big as the spaces we have. Some of them have uh, gazebos and raised decks. So they look like they've been here a while. They've committed to their site. I prefer the new area. During the winter, the sun is nice. Not having tree branches on top of the rig is also nice. The sites in this section are pretty much brand new. So we have the uh, barbecue pit, which this one hasn't even been used once in the look of it. Um, picnic table. The hookups for this one are on this side. You can see it's really, really wide. I think most of these have uh, cable TV available. As I said, so far we haven't gotten ours to work. There's a lake. There's a boat ramp that leads down from the RV park to the lake. The other side. Gazebos. I would guess these are probably available for rental. They have electric. Gazebo also has a nice grill, but it's rusted out, so you may want to bring your own grill for this one if you're going to rent the gazebo area. I think that's the clubhouse down there. smoke butt boxes outside so I'm guessing that smoking is allowed outside this building
that's the storm shelter that was on the map. It's uh, the storm shelter is there, and you ready for a spin? Up house, up house, storm shelter. It's like a community fire pit. You could bring them down here and have a big campfire. Um. <laughs> I have two pianos in here. It looks like hymnals. So maybe they have some church groups out to use the clubhouse from time to time. Fashion checker set up. Dark sandals. Another piano. So we have a game room. Ping pong. Cool. Blue spot. Play area for the kiddos. Lounge area with big cushy couch. Some bar stools. Board games. Ah, what a creative way to do the ping pong balls. So you buy your ping pong ball here. Oh, okay, there it is. Mm-hmm, for the ping pong table. Yep. Looks well used, but still usable. We're about to bring Faye down. He can teach her how to play pool. You remember how to play pool? Oh, yeah. Right. Where's your cue ball? There you go. I'm going to go select a cue. Right behind you on the ping pong table. Which one's yours?